In this video, we will prove that for complex numbers z1 and z2, the following property holds, which is absolute value of mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2. From the properties of complex numbers, we know that mod of z square is equal to z into z conjugate so we can write mod of z1 plus z2 square equal to z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 conjugate and also from the properties of complex number we know that z1 plus z2 whole conjugate is equal to z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate. So we can write it as z1 plus z2 into z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate. After multiplying these two we get z1 z1 conjugate plus z1 z2 conjugate plus z2 z1 conjugate and plus z2 z2 conjugate which is equal to since here we have written that absolute value of z square is equal to z into z conjugate so here we will apply this property and get mod of z1 square plus and also from the properties of real number we know that z1 z2 conjugate plus z2 z1 conjugate is equal to 2 times real value of z1 into z2 conjugate so we will use this property here and replace this with 2 times real value of z1 z2 conjugate and this will be replaced by mod of z2 square and from the properties of real number from the properties of complex numbers real value of z is less than equal to mod of z so we will use this property here and it will become less than equal to mod of z1 square plus 2 times mod of z1 z2 conjugate plus z2 square which is equal to mod of z1 square plus 2 times since mod of any two complex uh, complex number z1 and z2 is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 so we can separately write them z mod of z1 into mod of z2 conjugate plus mod of z2 square which is the formula of mod of z1 plus mod of z2 whole square so from there we get mod of z1 plus z2 square is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 whole square taking square root on both sides of inequality we get mod of z1 plus mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 let it be named as equation number one again consider mod of z1 minus z2 
स्क्र and we know that mod of any complex number z square is equal to z into z conjugate so it will be equal to z1 minus z2 into z1 minus z2 whole conjugate and it is equal to z1 minus z2 into z1 minus z2 whole conjugate is equal to z1 conjugate minus z2 conjugate so it will be equal to z1 conjugate minus z2 conjugate on multiplying these two we get z1 into z1 conjugate minus z1 z2 conjugate minus z2 z1 conjugate plus z2 z2 conjugate which is equal to absolute value of z1 square minus z1 z2 conjugate minus z2 z1 conjugate plus this is equal to mod of z2 square and it is equal to mod of z1 square taking minus common we get z1 z2 conjugate plus z2 z1 conjugate plus mod of z2 square which is equal to mod of z1 square minus we know that z1 z2 conjugate plus z2 z1 conjugate is equal to 2 times real value of z1 z2 conjugate using this property we get 2 times real value of z1 z2 conjugate plus mod of z2 square which is equal to mod of z1 square minus and also from the properties of complex number we know that real part of any complex number z is less than equal to absolute value of z so it will be equal to minus 2 absolute value of z1 and z2 bar and there will be the sign of less than equal to since we have used this property plus mod of z2 square and it is equal to mod of z1 square minus 2 times we can write absolute value of any two complex number z1 z2 as absolute value of z1 into absolute value of z2 so here we can write it as absolute value of z1 into absolute value of z2 conjugate plus absolute value of z2 square and now by using the property that absolute value of z is greater than equal to minus times absolute value of z we get that this expression is less than equal to absolute value of z1 square plus 2 times absolute value of z1 into absolute value of z2 conjugate plus z2 square here we have used this property so this expression has become less than and equal to this expression by this property we can write previous inequality as absolute value of z1 minus z2 square is less than equal to mod of z1 square plus 2 times mod of z1 mod of z2 plus mod of z2 square so which implies mod of z1 minus z2 whole square is less than equal to mod of z1 plus z2 
whole square we have closed the formula of a plus b whole square here and taking square root on both sides we get mod of z1 minus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus z2 let it be named as equation number 2 on combining equation 1 and equation 2 we get mod of z1 minus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus z2 and it is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 we can write z1 equal to z1 minus z2 plus z2 now taking mod on both sides we get mod of z1 equal to mod of z1 minus z2 plus z2. We can rewrite it as mod of z1 equal to mod of and we write in bracket z1 minus z2 plus z2. Now by using triangular inequality we can write mod of z1 less than equal to mod of z1 minus z2 plus mod of z2 by triangular inequality. Now Taking plus mod of z2 on the other side of inequality, we get mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 minus z2. Let it be named as equation A. Now consider z2 equal to z2 minus z1 plus z1 we have used here the same log logic that we have used earlier by writing z1 equal to z1 minus z2 plus z2 here we have written z2 equal to z2 minus z1 plus z1 now taking mod on both sides we get mod of z2 equal to mod of z2 minus z1 plus z1. It can also be written as mod of z2 less than equal to mod of z2 minus z1 plus z1. Now by using triangular inequality we can write it as mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z2 minus z1 plus mod of z1 by triangular inequality. Now taking mod of z1 on the other side of inequality we get mod of z2 minus mod of z1 is less than equal to mod of z2 minus z1. Now taking the minus sign common from mod of z2 minus z1 we get mod of minus times z1 minus z2. From the properties of complex numbers we know that mod of minus z is equal to mod of z so we can write it as mod of z1 minus z2 which means that mod of z2 minus z mod of z1 is less than equal to mod of z1 minus z2 now taking the minus sign common 
from mod of z to minus mod of z1 we can write it as mod of z1 minus mod of z2 less than equal to mod of z1 minus mod of z2 now multiplying the minus sign with this inequality we get mod of z1 minus mod of z2 since we have multiplied the negative sign so inequality will be changed so it will be greater than equal to minus time mod of z1 minus z2 so minus times mod of z1 minus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 minus mod of z2 let it be named as equation b from equation a and b we can write minus times mod of z1 minus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 minus mod of z2 which is less than equal to mod of z1 minus z2 and we can write that mod of mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 minus z2 we have written this expression by using mod minus a is less than equal to x is less than equal to a can also be written as mod of x is less than equal to a here if we consider this expression as x and these two as minus a and positive a so we can write this with mod less than equal to mod of z minus z1 minus z2 now from 1 2 and equation 3 we get mod of mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus z2 and it is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 hence the proof is complete